Okay, this is the first online tutorial for the BTO Winter Thrushes survey, and it just covers logging into the survey and choosing a square to cover. You can log in or register from the Winter Thrushes survey pages on the BTO website. So I'm going to show you how to find the survey and to log in from the BTO homepage. And the easiest way is to uh, look under volunteer surveys and winter thrushes is one of the items on this list of surveys. So I'm clicking winter thrushes survey and um, here is the login button and the register button. Uh, I'm registered already so I'm just going to log in. Here we go and I'm typing my username and my password. And pressing login. And here is the Thrush data homepage. It lists all the squares that I've chosen already. A uh, short list of squares that I've chosen already. But I do want to choose another one. And my options uh, are on the right hand menu here. <coughs> uh, choose a square is the top option. I'm going to press that one. And this brings up a map of the United Kingdom um, with uh, the national grid, the British grid, the Irish grid marked on it. And also on the map are uh, lots of little blue squares that show the squares that have been chosen already. Um, by pressing this plus button on the side of the map, we can change its appearance. Uh, for example, we can just look at the street view, which shows the selected squares a little more clearly. Uh, but I would recommend the hybrid as the easiest way to find the place that you're looking for. The place that I'm looking for is in Hertfordshire. Um, so I'm going to click the map and drag until Hertfordshire is visible. And then I'm pointing, placing my pointer where I think it is that I'm heading for. And I'm just going to roll the mouse forward a couple of times uh, to zoom in more closely to where I want to be. Uh, the spot is uh, east of Oxford, so I'm dragging the map again. Uh, I think it's here. And uh, I can roll the, the mouse wheel again to, uh, to zoom in, or alternatively, I can press this plus button here, which will increase the scale of the map. So I'm just going to drag and roll the mouse wheel until I can see the square that I'm looking for. Um, and it's this one here in Long Marston. Uh, it hasn't been selected by anybody else, and that's why uh, it's not blue. So the blue squares have been selected already. There's no reason why you can't select a square that somebody has selected before. But in this case, uh, this is the square I want. And the, um, uh, the message is uh, on the screen says, mouse over SP8915 and to select it, double click. So I'm going to double click on that square. I selected it, it's gone orange. Is this the square I want? Yes. Um, the chosen square has now been registered to me. Um, and if I go back to the to my data home page now, um, SP8915 is newly on the list, so I have selected it.